What up, everybody? Man, it is a good, good day. Because you know, you already know what time it is. The new Godzilla series on Apple TV is here. Monarch, Legacy of Monsters. I, You already know. I'm hyped as hell for this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in the best co-host I could ever ask for. Super bro, Corey. How's it going, big fella? What's up, Trey? How we doing, buddy? My man. Mm. It's a day. Man, they tricked us. They uh, they they said they were going to play it at a certain time, and then they moved it up some. So what what's that about, Trey? Yeah, dude. So I had been researching it like crazy, trying to figure out what time it's coming out because Apple TV tends to it's midnight. They say Friday, so they'll say Eastern on midnight. And that means, you know, 9 p.m. for us. <laughs> so it's like, okay, or no, sorry, it's 10 p.m. for us, you know, and, but that's Thursday. So it's like, I was like asking around, trying to get like an answer and could never get like a, a clear answer on it. But hey, we're here. We made it <laughs> and it's going to be a damn good time, mm. you know? Oh, yeah, buddy. So, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited. Guys, if you don't have Apple TV, they do give you a seven-day free trial. So if you start what? it today, you could get three episodes because not only are they releasing the first episode today, Aftermath, they are releasing the second episode today mm. with the departure. So... Are we doing a double header try? We're doing a double header, guys. So right after the stream, go. we're going to end it. And then start the next stream. So, and then watch the second episode with you guys for this big watch party with our fellow Monarch Monstars. Wow. It's going to be a great time. So, if you haven't already, guys, we're giving you some time. We're going to start it in like eight minutes. We have a link to Apple TV in our description. Go subscribe if you haven't already. Pull it up, get it ready, have it ready to when we say one, two, three, play, it starts right on the Apple TV logo once the show starts. So, get it going. Tweet out, get all of your Godzilla friends out there. We want to celebrate this and make this premiere huge. This watch party needs to just blow up because, I mean, if you want more Godzilla content from Apple TV, then we need to make this successful because I can only imagine the budget on this thing must have been pretty, pretty big. <laughs> you right. know, um, it's, it's just one of those scenes. Corey, who all do we have in the chat? Man, we have a lot of people here tonight, buddy, already filing in, filing in. We have hashtag Restore the Snyderverse guy. Brogy's in the chat. Kaiju, Crazy Craig Rowland is in the chat. Keen Donkey Kong is in the chat. Nice. It's just a mayhem. Wayne Enterprises. Oracle's Clock Tower. Red Hooded Outlaw. Um, I think it's going to be on the night. The Butler's in the house. Nine Lives in Hell here. You know Trevor H is here, and he actually dropped a $5 super chat. My man, Trevor H. Always coming in hot with that super chat. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate it. saying the king has returned. You know, you already mm. know. And if you don't follow this guy on Twitter, I, I recommend if, if you're really into Godzilla content and you really want to just like kind of keep up with some of the news, KDM Monsters on Twitter or X as they call it now, he is a wonderful resource uh, for just everything that's going on with godzilla the monster verse kaiju stuff uh people were like reaching out to him saying like hey man is godzilla only in this a little bit and he's like no man godzilla's in this quite a bit so he's not like he's gonna be in almost every episode so that's yeah. that's great news for us godzilla nice. fans for sure and Trey, let's uh, hook uh, Trevor H. I see that you added some super chats. I did yeah. add some super chats, guys. Mm. So I got some ways to say thank you. Mm. So Corey, go ahead and play Trevor H. A little sum sum. You for know us. what? Let's uh, let's let's have a victory dance, Trey. <laughs> the good old Godzilla victory dance. You know, you already know. We got we got some more of those goodies. I I need to add a few more. Uh, I have I have a few, but uh, I know. I mean, there's 69 years to go off of Godzilla content, and even longer if you add King Kong into the mix. So mm. nice super chats. Just to go through our quick little thing as we give you guys a little time to, you know, get your Apple TV set up. 
this is a wonderful time for us to get through all the you know YouTube logistics. Guys, if you haven't already, you can follow us on our many social media pages. It's a great way to connect with us because we're not just about making content. We love talking with you guys. And the best way to reach out and like talk with us and kind of get to know us on a little more of a personal level, follow us on one of our social media pages like Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, threads at the underscore bat channel. If you're over on Facebook at Holy Bat Channel, go ahead and give us a follow there. Send us a DM. Let us know some of the things you would like us to cover or some things that you're excited about with the MonsterVerse, DC, whatever, any type of fandom or you know type of content that you guys are excited for. Let us know. We, we're curious. We want to know what's going on. And... As always, smash that like, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Mm. Join our wonderful battalion here because we got some great, great stuff going on. What's up, Apta? Hope you're doing. You're already watching. Yeah. You're already like, I ain't yeah. waiting. I'm just going. I love that. Right. Way to we go. also have uh, Vincent Horn in here, here as well. So we got some new faces. Nice. I love it. I love it. Vincent Horn, great to great to see you. Said if Godzilla versus the Wolfman gets a Blu-ray release, would you watch it? Oh hell yes! Uh, they even used the uh, I believe it was the same suit design from God. Well, King Kong versus Godzilla, the the old uh, what was that? Sixty three, sixty four was it? Or it might have been sooner. May have been sixty four. I I can't remember. Is in the sixties. Uh, you know, shower era, the beginning of the shower era, not the beginning, middle, technically, but yeah, no, I'd totally be down for that. Absolutely. Corey, I think I see uh, another panel member. And, uh, and speaking of that, Trey, another super chat. Another soup co Jay. Not only is he going to be joining us later tonight, but this man coming in fire supporting us much appreciated brother. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Nonetheless, saying Gojira. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Cannot wait. Super excited, dude. Um, Corey, can you play before we bring Koji? I think we need to introduce him with a with a super chat video to say thank you. I'm gonna let you pick this one though, Cherry. You're gonna let me pick. Oh well mm. th this one's for you, Koji. Thank you so much, brother. Much appreciated. You are more beautiful than a hot dog and a beer at Wrigley Field. On opening day, <laughs> and you know that's saying a lot. Uh, <laughs> a, a beer in Wrigley Field and uh, a beautiful Chicago-style hot dog. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> How you been, Brad? I'm good. How you guys doing? Doing, doing great, man. So freaking excited. I'm glad you're here. Uh, we've been talking about doing this for a while. You and I doing a Godzilla stream. So the fact that we're finally going to be able to, you know do some some of these things that you and I are passionate about. I'm happy. It's a good day. Yee, yeah, I'm excited. Thanks for having me, guys. I love it being here. Yeah, brother. Absolutely, man. I just, Koja, have you been watching any of the trailers for this? Nah, just uh, your reaction. Hey, thank you for, for, for supporting us that I, way. No, I got it. And I'm like, ah, I don't want spoilers. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> That's been the thing. It's like even some of the official pages – have been like leaking some like well not leaking they they were given permission to release clips from Godzilla minus one or Monarch Legacy Monster. I was like okay now we're we're doing too much, uh, you know I didn't I didn't want to see everything before it came out you know. Mm. But uh, is this uh, after the first one, the 2014 one? Because it said a bunch of San Francisco stuff. So mm -hmm. it's going to take place in many different things. It's gonna have a little bit that takes place uh from kong skull island with bill randa john goodman's character uh, we're gonna get some backstories maybe even from when he was with the uss lawton uh and that whole fiasco that happened i think in 1943 in the monsterverse timeline uh but it, it the main story is gonna take place between godzilla 2014 and godzilla king of the monsters mm, nice. so it's gonna be a mixture for sure interesting yeah i'm excited i i am too um guys let us know in the chat if you have your apple tv ready to go you got it pulled up and and you're ready for us to to watch let us know i i'm excited koj did you get your tickets in for godzilla minus one 
Uh, no, I don't know which theater I'm going to yet. Okay. Are you going to try to see it in like... IMAX? Yeah. I have to. I have to. I you haven't know. seen a Japanese film in IMAX before. Oh, oh actually, now that you mention that, so. I don't think I yeah, have I either. So I mm. really, really want that. Cool. I, I'm a little I have some worried. coupons to the theater, so hopefully it works. Oh, okay. I'm a little worried. My uh, my movie theater is a small, like, hometown movie theater, and they haven't announced that uh, they're going to be playing uh, Godzilla minus one. So I may have to find a, a theater nearby that plays it. Man, it may be a two hour drive, but we're we're going to see it. <laughs> I think that would be worth it. I drove. Mm-hmm. I drove like a. Dang, I think it was like an hour and 10 minutes to get to see Michael Jackson's This Is It in IMAX. It was like at a rare theater. I was like, I had to see that one. Yeah, that man, that would be a fun one. Yeah, I I bet that was pretty good. Probably like uh, the whole Taylor Swift uh, fiasco recently. Um, Yeah, I heard about that. I don't get it. I I don't know. I don't know. No offense to the woman. No. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't know what her. I don't know any song. She almost made like a hundred million dollars, you know, opening weekend. So I can't, uh, you know, I can't uh, say nothing. She she knocked it out of the park. She made and a lot of it went to her, not a not a studio. That's yeah, why studios are pissed off at her. Someone she's, was saying because of that. of that movie, she made she's like a, a billionaire now. She officially crossed the billionaire mark, like which is insane for wow. a musician, especially. But who knows? Well, oh, Tay Tay. You know, I you know I think who we really have to be appreciative of is Travis Kelsey. Kelsey put Taylor Swift on the map. It's just yep, amazing. That's that true. That is correct. How much uh, Travis Kelsey has propelled uh, Taylor Swift's career. So hats off to you, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, just um, you know, it's just a it's a it's a man's world. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <kidding>. it's amazing <laughs> how Taylor Swift like just dates like. <laughs> One dude, and you know, like that guy, like no one knew who he was really before that. I mean, he was a Super Bowl champ, right? But like now he is like so big, he's in all these commercials, and it's like insane. You know, good for him though. Yeah, I mean, he's dating a beautiful girl. Um, I'm sure he'll be a part of an album at some point, and she she may, you know, date a That's basketball a good point player. Because uh his brother Jason was uh, uh one of the sexiest men, uh, men search so like not even he was a sexy man so it was wild bro absolutely wild Kelsey's oh, all yeah. over the news though right right now though <laughs> Corey uh what's what's the chat saying are they ready to go because I I'm getting antsy just waiting for the show <laughs> you, you know yeah you know that they're saying they're ready you know they're they're like you know what we like you know the train Corey brotherhood uh Brother uh, 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 streams way better than the New Heights, you know, Kelsey brothers. So they, they're like, we 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 we're ready to go, Bat Channel. That's that, that's what they're saying. They're like, we got KoJ in the house. We're ready to go. We want to see some monsters. We want to see some kaiju. Let's go. Yeah, it's making me happy. I, I love hearing that. All right, you guys know what to do. I hope you have it ready to hit play. Mm. Coming down in wait, three. Wait, it, it's like highlighted on the episode picture itself, right? Uh like your your screen is like. Yeah, I'll show you. I currently have mine like on the black screen ready. I have like, mine like, I... on that. Oh, no. Go ahead and hit play on it. Okay, and it's going to open you. Perfect. Yeah, it opens you to another page. And then hopefully, if you're lucky, that when you hit play again, it'll just start you on the Apple TV. It's a 52 minute episode. Yeah. Mine says 51, 58. Okay, huh? that's fine. Round it up. Yeah. All right. You guys. Up. You guys ready for this, Corey? You ready? Oh, I'm ready, Big Phil. Coming down in three, two, one. Pay. Doom. Oh, mine's actually now playing an ad. Yep, mine <laughs> this too. commercial? Yeah, we'll, we'll just let the commercial it. play if... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my screw up the sink. Yo, I actually got three months for free. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, great. Because I already have an Apple account, apparently. Oh. Well, for my iTunes, you know. All right, here we go. A legendary television production.
Apple original. <clears throat> Guardian is right on, yeah, 1973, right on Skull Island. Mmm, <laughs> Chills. The mother long legs. We did, Trevor H. This was a uh, initial clip. I'm not certain, but if you guys watched the Netflix animated show Skull Island that recently came out, I think that's a trap door crab that attacked the kids when they first reached the island on episode two. It looks very similar. Oh. oh, dude has some good balance. Twenty thirteen, so just before the events of uh, Godzilla. Mm. The year of Man of Steel. Oh my God, that day. Should have never posted that on Instagram. <laughs> Sushi. Kiersey Clemens? What? You gonna see that Kiersey Clemens is gonna be in this. Hmm. She played Iris West in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Think you guys are a second ahead of me. <laughs> oh, what? I was I'm like, what? At, uh, oh, like five thirteen. <laughs> You're I'm at 513 right up. now, Corey? Yeah. Okay, I'm now at 520. I'm going to pause for a couple of seconds, so I'm with you guys. Tell me what number you're at. I'll, I'll sync up. I'm at 530. Oh, yep, and now I'm with you guys. Yep. My commercial threw us all off. Yeah. Maybe we got different commercials. Probably.
I'm digging the music, bro. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. By the way, I'm not too loud or anything, am I? No, I think you're good. Hmm. Kind of gives me Resident Evil vibes, that music right there. Do you think we'll see Khan in this trade? Um, it's possible. I, I wouldn't see why not. We kind of saw Bill Randa on Skull Island, so maybe they might have to go back and and see what was he searching for there. You know, what was he doing? Wow. Thank you so much, Oracle. Don't forget to like and share. What are they spraying on T, you know? Oh, look at the Godzilla sign. Yeah, it's the evacuation. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah. This postmodern uh, Godzilla the evacuation world. evacuation route. Yes. <laughs> so she was there. Oh, dang. She's a voice actor in, a, in Sleeping Dogs, I think. Mm, oh, that's a great familiar. game. Oh, I love that game. Hey, Carrie Kelly, thanks for joining. Uh, we're, oh gosh, about nine minutes, 10 seconds in right now. Whoa. They really tell you where to go if Godzilla comes back. Oh, man. I mean, that's cool. We actually see them uh, adapt to, like, the, you know. Yeah. You talk about those sand missiles. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're hearing crap like that today, right? Yeah, you know <laughs> something. I read Hood Outlaw. <laughs> the taxi driver has a podcast. <laughs> Don't we all nowadays? I Don't know, we? right? You got one. I got one. <laughs> it's kind of similar to that uh, dude in uh, Godzilla. Um, versus kong his whole monster verse a uh, monster podcast what what do you call that i can't remember it might be the bat channel oracle it might be
That's funny, Burger. <laughs> Do you know the batch? That would have been insane. I, I would have been like, what? They know us. Talk about Monarch a lot. Whoa. Hey, cousin. 1959. That's a beautiful country. <clears throat> Secret family, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> hey Tim Sock. What up, Tim? He's about to inhale that Twinkie, bro. <laughs> They're noticing you've done some you're doing some research, Trey. Uh, so I know the character's name is Shaw, and I believe there was a character in the comics. His name was also Sean. I'm just wondering if they're the same. I just did an IMDb on the actress I thought she was, and she wasn't. So I was like, dang. Was this all shot in California? Um... I don't believe so, but I wouldn't be surprised to keep the budget down some. Mm. It's on Apple uh, TV, Tim. Row, row.
His gun's not cocked. <laughs> Isn't that a BB gun? I was playing. That looks like a little 22. Enough to get a rabbit, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're speaking Russian, which is a language that they speak there as well, as well as Kazakh. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> wait, what year is this? 1950. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Russia yeah. had control of uh, Kazakhstan. I think they got their independence in like the mid late 90s. Josh, for dropping by, show some love. He says, I'm going to start the episode in a few. Much love, everyone. What's up, Josh? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Josh. Oh, interesting. Something's been absorbing all the radiation. It's toxic. That's good. I wonder if it is. I don't know. I can't see that they named, gave him a first name. It is. Yeah. Okay, cool. The same guy from the Godzilla Awakening comic who worked with uh, Sarazawa's father and eventually. So the comic is canon then, Trey? Uh, possibly. Uh, we'll, we'll see how they handle uh, Operation Lucky Dragon. I like the two paintings behind her being the same one, but different shades. Mm. There's a situation going on here. Mm. Father had two lives, two wives. And he faked his own death to have a third. Mm. Or he's in flashbacks. Mm hmm. Yeah, the night is Operation Lucky Dragon. Um, yeah, beyond the night, uh, Operation Lucky Dragon was the event 
uh, that they talked about in the first Godzilla movie that took place March 1st, 1954, when they dropped the nuke on Godzilla to try to take him out. It's also in the Godzilla Awakening, a comic, but they kind of added a little something to that event that we haven't really seen confirmed in live action. So we'll see. How did that work out for him? <laughs> then they say there were doctors. I believe so. Some um, in the Godzilla Awakening comics, MacArthur kind of sets up the Monarch team, and there's a group of scientists that Shaw kind of escorts because he's like the army. Um, mm. He's the army bodyguard, basically. Cool. I like this stuff is like all new to me, so this is exciting. Huh. Right, it's kind of fun. Like, there's no comics to kind of go. Well, I mean, there there are comics, but it's not like DC. Why does he get the hug? Comics are tied to this, though, right? A, a little bit, yeah. There are there are kind of prequel comics between movies. Hmm. There's so many trailer lines in their dialogue, you know? Mm. Like, it's all or nothing. This is it. I think we made it. It's now <laughs> or never. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you got to move. I literally got chills. <laughs> yeah, that came out of nowhere. Oof. You know what, man? This would be a dope uh, theme park ride. Yo, Universal Studios used to have a dope one with King Kong. They changed right? it. I don't yeah. like it. It's, like, it's like a big 3D IMAX ride experience, but when you saw the animatronics, yeah. you shaking you on your... Oh, that was the best. Right? And this kind of reminds me of like the subway scene at Universal. And <clears> then... I think they still got that one, kind of. Yeah. But, oh, that was so cool. Yay. Mm. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, Zilla don't care. Damn. Wow. What time stamp are you guys on? I just want to double check. Okay. Uh, 2818, 2820 now. Yeah. You said 28? Yep. Okay, good. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. I literally felt like my stomach drop. With the bus. That was a whoa. That was intense. Mm. 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 This is before aliens, so they would not be cautious. If you had a bad feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Now that they say it, I see a Luke Han and Leia situation now. Right. That's why he gets the hugs. <laughs> Huh. Oh. Oh, I just saw Tim's uh question. What's your schedule like on Sunday? Um, this Sunday? I'm not exactly certain yet. We're talking the Monarch Monsters team is talking about doing two live shows this weekend, one Saturday, possibly one Sunday. You know, Saturday would be for episode one. Sunday will be for episode, episode two. Um, I'm not sure what time that is because we're still discussing. <laughs> A lot of schedules. Um, but DM me. Let me know. You, you know how to reach me. Nice win, Tim. When I also saw, do you ever think there will be a big crossover event for Godzilla? Crossover as in... Um, He's talking about uh, Fortnite, I think. Oh, for Fortnite? All uh, right. If they do Fortnite, they should do it big. Like, actually have Godzilla as a big, giant creature that you fight. Because they had a few kaiju-like creatures in Fortnite before. They did something like with Godzilla. Call of Duty no. Warzone. Mm, that'd Which be cool. I wish like they would bring scale, back because right? that was epic. 
Hell yeah. Like thirty three fifty right now, Tim. Thirty three fifty five now. Yeah, this family dynamic is very intense. I really like her as an actress. She's great. Dang. That's a lot to remember. That's a clever way of... I don't know how she should do that. <laughs> you really want to trip some people up. No wonder they would never think of the numbers. Mm -hmm. He had two families for the perfect passcode. That didn't work. That, that so was, if you want to create the purpose. perfect password, you have to have two families. You heard it here first, folks. Hey. There she is. <laughs> we know oh. her. So he must be flashed then. Wow. How rude.
<laughs> Great set designs, I gotta say. Yeah. Detail is beautiful. I also really like just the, the color palettes of the scenes. It really reminds me of uh, the 2014. Mm. Yeah, the, the little more grittier rather than yeah. like super bright and colorful. Yeah, I like that. I like texture. I like weight. I like realness. That's why I like that movie so much. I feel this is like a good continuation mm -hmm. if you're a fan of that one. Dang, you kind of remind me of my brother-in-law for a second. I would. You see that guy's office? He's clearly not in charge here. <laughs> Fox department. Mm hmm. Don't need well, oh, yeah, you saw the skull crawlers there. <laughs> hmm. I agree, Brogo. On G Day. <laughs> I like that. On G Day.
I like that. GDA plus five. You're going to see Godzilla minus one. <laughs> So that's what I said, Trevor H. That's why I was wondering. Do you think he's still alive, Trey? I joked when I said third family, but I think his third family might be Monarch now. Huh. I'm, I'm curious, curious to not alive. I'm kind of tired of that. Yeah. I'm curious to. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, see uh, what I was just gonna say, like what makes him think he is dead, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and did we see it? I can't remember though. I don't think we did. We just I think we just found out that there was a plane crash that he disappeared in Alaska. Oh, that's um, real convenient. The conspiracy theory is going wild right now. <laughs> yep. Take notes, Disney. This is how you make a show. <laughs> and that, okay. Oh, and that's her. Yep. <laughs> Can we eat them? <laughs> Can we cook it? Yeah. Bro, you tell me you wouldn't try it? They're like huge salmon eggs. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, looks like she got something. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, good oh. shot. Dude. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, Batcha, hit me up. I would like to bring you on the Sunday show. Okay, we can talk about it, Tim. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll DM you after tonight. Figure out times if possible if I can make it. Have a good night, brother. Wow. That's oh, I can't. Yep, what yep. The hell? <laughs> Dang. Woo. That was that was killer, man. <laughs> All right, I like it. Oh, oh, here I gotta I gotta pause. Yep, just paused it. Yeah, I did too. I'm at the zero 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 zero. Man, all right. Woo. Well, first one down already. That was a quick fifty-five. It, it, right. It, it. I love what they're doing using how they're using the flashbacks you know, and the present day story there's there's a lot they're i think going to be able to play with especially with this mysteriousness which is what made the first 2014 film so good with monarch mm. i feel like you know that that confidential even the marketing leading up to mm. godzilla 2014 and godzilla king of the monsters mm. where they were really focusing on like the classified documents of monarch i think that has always been a strong part of the monster verse storytelling so i'm i'm really digging what they got going on but uh what, what, your guys's quick thoughts on uh on the first episode i'll let you go koji oh yeah i want to see the next one already i really like it i like the pacing it took its time but it wasn't slow it progressed like at a good uh interesting pace and i want more and I like the tone as we were saying the grit. And yeah. Uh, uh yeah, this is like what I like from the first one. Because that's my favorite one of all these new ones. Still that first one. Yeah. Uh because I, I like seeing it from the, the our perspective, you know, that you really get the size of it. Cause you know, kind of kills the magic when it's you know classic in a costume and all the miniatures, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, you kind of lose scope and scale, but you love it because that's classic. But I like this with today's technology of storytelling through movies and cinema. So I like it uh, in this mysterious uh, human's eye level. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I like um, I like the danger they're kind of putting mm. to it. You know, I feel like in the past. Or at least in Godzilla versus Kong, they kind of got more into um, j just more of the monster versus monster kind of thing going on, and we kind of lost sight of the dangers that humans kind of face. Like I feel like Gareth Edwards, cinematography wise, did a great job of like always including people in the shot and seeing the monsters, and it was always kind of from their point of view where you're looking up the at these massive creatures, and it kind of gives you this feeling of tension and being like being small compared to the scene. And it really presents a, a real life threat. If you could put yourself in their shoes in that moment. And I feel like this show's kind of getting back to that, presenting that real life threat. And we're also seeing that. I love that post-traumatic stress. She's going through the trauma and she's doing a great job of like really making me feel it, you know, um because we saw the devastation in the first godzilla and it was insane um so i'm i'm digging this first episode was solid uh like uh carrie kelly says cgi is solid i'm i'm liking what they're setting up so far super bro your thoughts yeah man this uh has been a, a really awesome start and i think the pacing has been solid as well you know we've had some you know, crazy scenes right from the get-go. It kind of brings in and starts building the story extremely well. But mm -hmm. these flashbacks are, you know, giving me a, a, a good amount to constantly keep me interested, you know, between uh, seeing the the history of uh, past events, uh, G-Days and different things like that, and then also living in the real time of them trying to figure out having the uh, Godzilla 
uh, pop in every now and then and they have to run to the evacuation sites. It, 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 it's keeping me intrigued. It's keeping me invested. And uh, I, I'm excited to go to episode two, buddy. I, I agree. I, I agree. It's just, uh, I, I think uh, Apple TV, you might be onto something with this one. It's just the first episode. We'll see, you know, as Corey and I always say, we don't like to, it's hard to grade these episodes because you haven't seen the overall story arc. But in terms of a, a first pilot mm. episode. Are you going to grade it right now? I think we wait for the review. Oh, no, yeah, we're going to wait for the review, guys. So I, I think how we're going to do it is just so our viewers know, yes, we are going to be moving over to our episode two stream in just a second here. It's going to start a little bit earlier. Links uh, in the I, chat. We'll start yeah, here shortly. Yep. Links in the chat. So make sure uh, once we end this that you head over there. Make sure you share it and get everyone in that for episode two. But um, I think just uh, how we're going to set this up with the Monarch Monstar series is if if the watch party is successful, we might do a watch party for each episode that comes out. And uh, we're going to do something a little different rather than doing a breakdown stream i'm going to make a quick like 10 minute breakdown video and then uh we're gonna you know do a discussion with our monsters panel um so lots of godzilla content coming out so you guys know what to do already smash that like share so we subscribe if you haven't already my replay crew if you're watching it with us in the replay tell us in the comments throughout let us know what scenes are really popping at you what's intriguing you about this particular episode good start with aftermath it truly was an aftermath of godzilla 2014 so i'm digging what you got going on apple tv but guys head on over to episode two watch party we need to get this thing rolling i am your host trey with super bro cory and my man koji and and tune in not even weekly just Tune in next, right, yes. right now. You know, Come we'll out. Right there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Tune in now. Same bad time, same bad channel. <laughs> See you yeah. later, guys. <laughs>